Okay, the focus of this first session is just simply to get our idea heads around um, Visual Basic and the system here. What I've done is I've installed Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express. This is freely available, you can get this from the Moodle classes. So just download it, install it, and then you start running the program. We're going to run a new project, start something new. When you come up with a new project, we've got a number of options available to us. We're going to use console application. That's only because we don't want to get bogged down with graphical interfaces or anything else at this stage. We simply want to get our heads around Visual Basic, the programming language itself. So simply go there, and then you introduce a name. Now, names of programs are up to you. In this case, I'm just going to call this one Hello World, which is our starting program. Uh, I'm going to click on OK. and then the program takes a while to load everything up. Okay, here's our programming window. A module, which is this first part at the top, is a group of codes. A module, like a space module, is something that contains everything else within it. So a module contains everything within it. And you can have several modules that can combine into one big overarching program. We're only actually going to use one module at the time being, and we've then got our programs inside. Now, one of the first types of program is this one, this sub. Not a small vessel that travels underneath the ocean, but simply a sub-routine. A routine, a set of things that you do. You, know, you get up in the morning, you get dressed, you get washed, hopefully you get washed before you get dressed. I don't know, it's up to you which choice you have. But, sub-routine. Routine means that you're following a pattern. Sub-routine is within those routines. This one is called main, and it's the first routine of any module. So if you ever run a module, the first thing any programming language will look for is the main routine. And there's n sub. Because we've got a sub and an end sub, just like we've got a module and an end module, these are actually called block objects, and they, they work as a collective. We enter our code between the sub and the end sub. Sub, imagine the program coming along, imagine if there's a magical pointer and it points at this first line, and it will go to the next line, and the next line, it will sequentially progress through the programs until it meets end sub, and end sub means exactly that stop. If it's been come from somewhere else it will go to some go back to where it came from but in our case we've just got this sub main. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a very simple command console dot. Now notice as I'm typing up is coming a helpline. That's simply telling us what is available for me to use. I'm going to use something called write line now what I'm going to do is inside this bracket all of these commands that exist have, have a bracketed command and you can put things in there called parameters now I'm going to put a string in there, the string is simply a collection of letters, numbers or anything else and the string is called hello world notice I'm using speech marks to define that routine the computer's already identified that I've got brackets running either side, everything's fine this first word, console, when you first see a programming language it can seem a bit complex, but actually this is an object, console, well that's the black window that's going to come up and everything's going to run inside of. The dot then says we're dealing with something to do with the console, and we're going to deal with a property, a, an event, write line, and this says write a line to the console, what line? The line that appears inside the brackets. Now, to run this, I simply click on the Start Debugging program there, or I can go to Debug, Start Debugging there. It doesn't matter. I'm going to click on that. Off it goes, and there it went. It wasn't that spectacular. So impressive, did you see? No, of course you didn't. The thing is, the program worked beautifully, but it did exactly what I've asked of it. It went to Module, it went to the Submain, it then found my line of code, it knew the object we're talking about, knew the event, shoved hello world to it, and then went to end sub, end module, nothing else to do, stops the program. So I actually need to do something else to stop the program, or pause the program, so I can see what's happening. And I can do that very simply by using another property, another event for cons console. And that's the opposite of read line, and it's called, sorry, opposite of write line, it's read line. 
two brackets just to turn, finish it. Well, there are things we can put in read line. We're not going to do that. If I run that now, notice what happens. There's the console. That's the that's the object. That's the one that's running. Hello world has appeared. The flashing line. So this is the right line. Let's bring up the program again behind. This is the right line here. Hello world. Notice it's gone down. There's a flashing cursor. That's the read line waiting for something. What is it waiting for? Anything. As soon the computer is waiting to read a line from the console. Once it's read it, what will it do? Well, it will simply end because there's nothing left for it to do. And that's our first Visual Basic program. Simple enough for us to work with. Hopefully now I can find the stop button.